3.3 number 4. We're trying to uh, it says state why the integral is improper. So improper integral has uh, either infinity as boundaries, which this one does. It's negative infinity and infinity. Or points of discontinuity, like infinite uh, discontinuity in the inside. So this by itself, or this by itself, um, shows that it is an improper integral. So if we're going from negative infinity to infinity, uh, we have to choose a number in the middle. So we could integrate um, from negative infinity to 7 and then add that from 7 to infinity. We just need some number in the middle um, um, to produce two different integrals because you can't have an integral uh, infinity on both ends of a, an integral. Now, 7 is not the easiest number. Typically 0 or 1 um, are the easiest just because you're going to end up evaluating and might as well make an easier number but you could certainly use 7 if you wanted to. So I'm going to use 0. So I'm going to first of all I'll find the antiderivative of this. So that looks like a u substitution. So u is x squared plus 1 uh, du dx equals 2x dx equals du over 2x so it's the integral of 2x over u squared times dx, which is du over 2x. So it's the integral of 1 over u squared du. Um, so antiderivative of u to the negative 2 is u to the negative 1 negative. All right, so we have negative 1 over u, which is negative 1 over x squared plus 1. All right, so we have our antiderivative. It's negative 1 over x squared plus 1. So we're, we're going to integrate 2x or x squared plus 1 from negative infinity to 0, and then from 0 to infinity. Alright, so since it's the lower one here, or the left one, that's our a. So we're going to find the limit as a goes to negative infinity. And I'm just going to, uh, I know what the antiderivative is. So it's negative 1 over x squared plus 1 from a to 0. And we're going to add that. And this is going to be b, so it's going to be the limit as b goes to infinity, negative 1 over x squared plus 1 from 0 to b. Evaluating them, uh, if I drop in the 0, so I get negative 1 minus if I drop in negative infinity I'm going to have negative 1 over negative infinity which is 0 constant over infinity whether it's positive or negative is 0 so this integral is negative 1 um, if I drop in infinity because b is approaching infinity I get negative 1 over infinity which is 0 minus if I plug in 0 here, here I get negative 1 over 1, which is negative 1. So this ends up being 1. This ends up being negative 1. So if I have negative 1 plus 1, our answer is 0.